Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, my name is Eve. This is Creation Saint Party. It's Friday night. <laughs> and somebody's very <really> excited. <laughs> Say hi, buddy. <laughs> I know, you're so excited. I know, it's good times. You're so excited. It's yours. Say hi to your fans. Did you go, boy? <laughs> there you go. Don't choke on it. Don't choke on it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Hi everybody. So, uh, anyway, we're doing snowmen. We're doing the magic. We're doing the holiday magic. Let me show you my handy dandy table. Okay. Alright. So, same colors every single time we paint. Yellow, white, red, blue, and black. We've got Big Boy in the house. He is a one inch flat. We've got Mini Me. He is a small shader. Oh, I just, did you see that? That just flew all the way over there. <laughs> we got Tiny going on. Small round for details. And Mr. Nifty's in the house. If you send support of $5 or more, you get these for free. All right, people are coming in. I got to go get that brush eventually. Remind me. All right, it is roll call time. Right over here. Let's see. And comments are not there. We go. Tina's here. Hi, Tina B. My OG. How are you, darling? Tina B is in the house, and we've got Marsha. 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 Marsha's here. Hello. 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 Marsha. How are you, sweetheart? All right. Merry Friday. Yes. That's it. Just two. Oh, there's Joan. Hi, Joan. How are you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> What's going on? How is everybody tonight? Hope everybody's doing well. All right, so let me put you in your handy dandy holder, so I can go get that brush, and um, I'll write you all down in a minute. All right, so let's put you in the handy dandy holder. Hello, hello, hello. Jesus, this holder, this holder has been my nemesis lately. It usually works fine, and for some reason the phone just wants to pop right out of it, and like nothing changed. I didn't change anything. Um, anyway. Let's bring you on up. Okay, so I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas. It is 16 this way, 20 straight across. If you are working on something different, that is totally fine. As long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in, you will be fine. All right, so time for your electrocution. You guys ready? You ready for your jolt? Ready? <laughs> Feels good. All right, so. There you guys go. Uh, there we are. Alrighty. And I just missed a whole bunch of people, so I don't know what's going on. I just missed a whole bunch of people coming in. Hi. Uh, let's see. Finally, finally, finally. Ra Robert, hello, hubby. How are you doing, sweetheart? Okay. Said hi to Tina. Said hi to Marcia. Say hi to Joan. Kimberly. Hello, 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 Kimberly. How are you doing, sweetheart? Kimberly is here. Dawn, Dawn is saying, hey, is this it? Um, yes. <laughs> yes, this is it. This is it. Uh, hubby's here. How you doing, hubby? You finally made it. Dawn, yeah, you finally made it. You're here. You're here. All right, Carolyn is here. Hello, 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 Carolyn. How are you doing, sweetheart? And, um, let's see. Uh... Tina Tina wrote me a story. Okay, Tina B. Um, yeah, so your thermostat's broken and you've got finals that you finished and everything's going well and uh yeah, we're just gonna watch Eve and do this the whole evening. I got you. Hey Debbie, how you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? So uh the make 'em ups is uh to match the glow of our magic star. So those of you that are following my make 'em ups journey, that's what I went with. Cause you I think I think I did pretty well, right? I'm supposed to match the art. Is that the game? Is that the game? I'm supposed to match the art. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> I think I did pretty well. Um, and, and hey, just a heads up. If I'm running a few minutes late, guys, commenting on my page or posting on my page or send me a message when it's like three after uh, the time I'm supposed, like three minutes after, 
doesn't help. <laughs> if I'm going to be, if, if there's an issue and I'm not going to be able to come on, I will let you guys know. Um, so, but I can't answer you. Um, I'm trying to, like, I'm running late. I am trying to get to the point of hitting the button. So, having messages and comments about where are you, I can't answer you, number one. And, uh, number two, um, it's, it's, you know, it's like, <laughs> stresses me out. <laughs> uh, thank you, Tina B. Hello, 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 Kimberly. How are you doing? We got those Kimberly's. Anyway, I'm just letting you guys know. All right. So, if there's ever an issue and I won't be able to make it on, um, you will be notified for the most part. So, uh, yeah, I'm human, guys. I'm a human being. Just the way it goes. Definitely not perfect. And that's okay. Hey, Cindy, how you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? Hello, 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 Cindy. Hi, guys. So, um, I hope I'm not glitching because my phone is saying slow connection. So, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, it's full bars, so, <laughs> it's all right, Dawn, it's okay, just letting you know that I can't answer anybody, I can't answer a soul when I'm trying to get the things together to come on, and, uh, that's all right, so, anyway, and it wasn't just one person, so, that's fine. <laughs> So did I. <laughs> so did I, darling. <laughs> hello, 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 Becky. How are you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. You guys are hysterical. I love every single one of you. All right. I, I hope this feed's working. It keeps popping up that there's a slow connection, so I really hope that's not an issue because... I don't know what to tell you. We're doing these amazing snowmen tonight. They're super, super cute. And guess what? It's not hard at all. It is not hard at all. Um, to get it to look like this, you guys already know. Layer after layer after layer after layer after layer. Because that's how acrylics work, right? I know. I, I can't sing. Anyway, so um, just keep that in mind. All right? I'm not going to show you the six to seven layers that I put onto this canvas to make it look like this. I'm going to show you what you need to do so you could create and make it look like this. And I, there's no steam on tonight, so hopefully we don't have the Santa chimney fiasco <laughs> of the paints staying muddy <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. <laughs> I looked at that Santa later, and I was like, you are one scary dude, man. You are one scary dude. <laughs> it happens. What are you going to do, right? You guys got what you needed. Your Santas came out great, the people who shared it with me. So that's amazing. And um, honestly, whatever I'm doing, it really doesn't matter. It's what you guys are doing that matters. It's what you got. And don't pay attention to this. You already know the drill. You already know I cover stuff up. So, uh, PayPal, Venmo, uh, oh, I didn't do my shtick. All right, so PayPal, oh, did you got, uh, Joan, did you get your screenshot? I'm sorry, darling. Um, so PayPal, uh, PayPal link, I think, is floating through this feed. Uh, Venmo, um, all right, to be able to send support. I do have a Zelle. Uh, you'd have to, uh, message me to get the Zell information, all right, um, and, uh, let's see, PayPal, boom, uh, and, and it's all on my website, too, guys, if you go to my website, evesartistry.com, and hit the button support, both links are right there for you, they're right there, it would actually be faster for you to do this than for me to find the buttons to share it with you right now, <laughs> All my replays are available on YouTube. All right, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Numbers always help. Um, numbers, numbers, numbers always help. Hey, did you guys notice that East Creations Paint Party Facebook page has over 7,000 followers? Did you guys notice that? Because I noticed that. 
Um, so that's kind of really awesome. I think I think that's really cool. To tell you the truth. Um, what am I looking for? YouTube. That's what I'm looking for. Here it is. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, but my OGs are always here, right here with me, right here. If you guys weren't here, if my OGs, you guys have been, some of you have been here since the beginning. If you weren't here with me right now, none of this would be happening because I'd be painting to no people, and that's not any fun. I might as well just do a video. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love every single one of you that are in here right now because you are my OGs. 7,000 followers on my page, and I have the same 12 people I have every single week. And you are the same 12 people that help me and send send support. You're the same 12 people that... Becky, I gotta say, I mailed your nifties out. I did do it. Alright, I was just like, oh no, I forgot Becky's nifties. No, but your nifties are in the mail. I sent them the other day. So, I did do that, um, and, uh, so, y'all wore my heart, 6,000%, because it's you guys that keep this train rolling. You keep it choo-choo-chewing. All right, what was I doing? Everybody got their screenshot? You got your reference? Excellent. Okie dokie, Smokey, we're going to do, uh, some black, some blue, some white. You guys know? Black, blue, and white for our sky, right? Some blue, blue. Let's dribble that all over the place. And we're going to do some black, lots of black. And we're going to do some white, just a smidge. And we're going to make a nice dark sky. Okie dokie. Right across, right? Nice, right across. The more you, the more you swipe, the more blended it becomes. And uh, you want a nice thin layer. Um, so this way it dries. <laughs> oh my God. I keep thinking of last week and, uh, it's just cracking me up. The more and more I think about it, it just cracks me up even more. Um, so nice thin layer all the way across. Okay. And it's up to you. Do you want it more blue? Do you want it more black? Do you want it? Um, you know, it's all up to you. You know, it's all up to you. You could turn around and do, uh, you can turn around and do blue, red, and some black, and give it some purple tones if you want to. Whatever you guys want to do. You know why? Because it's your world. It's your world. It is your world. Do, 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 do. Swoop, 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 swoop. There we go. So, how is everybody's week? Are you surviving the December uh, holiday? Uh, shenanigans. Are you guys surviving? Uh, we're a weekend. Anybody need, uh, anybody need like a defibrillator and then, and an oxygen tank? How are we doing with the, uh, the holiday, the holiday bad crunch time that, uh, you know, for some reason, as soon as Thanksgiving over, it just all goes into a flurry. You're welcome, darling. Okay, so I'm going to grab, uh, I'm about halfway now, right? So I'm going to grab some more white. And, right, we're not making it white, 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 okay? Because we're going to be putting snowman on top of it, so we're not going to be making it white, white, white. Okay, guys, remember, right, when you do snow, don't make it white, 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 because when you go to put your objects over it, you are not going to be able to see them. You're not going to be able to see them. Okay, so we're putting this on. Um, there we go. You and hubby took yesterday and today off. That is awesome. I love it. I love that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I, uh... I've had a very busy week. It has nothing to do with the holidays. I've just had a very busy week. Um, but, uh, I don't think I have anything that I have to do on Sunday. So, Sunday's going to be my day off. So, um, yep. And then, because uh, I had an in-person party this week, which was really fun. I, I shared the video and the pictures with you guys. Um... You know, so take a note from Tina B, man. Take some time off for yourself, because if you don't, you're going to burn yourself out. All right, 
So we have our lovely dark snow in the background. Now I'm going to grab some even more white. And we're going to put the next little layer in, right? Just a little swirly do. Right? I'm not worrying about this being straight. Nope. We're not worried about any of that. Shoop, there it is. Okay. Again, not white, 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 white. Right? We're not going for white, white, white. I've just been grabbing more white. I haven't cleaned my brush. I'm starting in the layer that I just painted to pick up some of that color. Okay? I'm working myself uh, down because as I work down, it's just going to naturally get lighter and lighter. That's how I'm able to get like the darker up here and then it gets lighter. Right? So that's just from picking up the paint that's in the layer beforehand and then working my way down, adding more and more white as I do so. So that's what we're doing. Um, yep, guys, if uh, you send uh, support of $5 or more, make sure you uh, and everybody there in um, replay land, uh, make sure you... Uh, Facebook message me your address. Like, even if you're an OG. Because <laughs> Joan, Becky, Tina. Hey, Shauna, how you doing, sweetheart? Uh, you guys have been here for I don't know how long. And you still know that if you don't Facebook message me your address, guess what? <laughs> you're not getting them. <laughs> oh, so... There we go. All right. Nice. Nice and filled in. Nice thin layer. Nice little transition of color. And all I did was keep adding a little bit more white, right, as I went down. Hey, Shauna. How are you doing, sweetheart? How's everybody doing? You have plenty of them? The cats didn't take them all this time, Tina B? The cats didn't take them all? <laughs> Oh, and uh, speaking of which, guys, speaking of mailing stuff out, if you're going to do orders for the holidays, if you're going to um, get some art off of East Creations Art on Etsy and you want it customized, or if you're going to get a shirt, or if you're going to get um, a brush set, or if you're going to get any merch whatsoever, um, order soon, okay? Um, so this way, if I'm customizing a painting for you, or you want a commission painting, or if the shirts are made to order, um, if the, the, the ones that you guys create online, so, um, and, uh, shipping gets bogged down this time of the season, so make sure that you're, uh, putting your orders in if you're planning on it. Uh, you locked them up. You haven't painted much lately. That's because you're you were going to school. So, that's because you were going to school. Okay. So, if you notice, I'm doing some ketchup mustard time because I want this background to be dry. <laughs> Eve has a little phobia about things being dry now. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to do a little bit of roll call. If you're new to us, say hello. If you're a creeper, if you're a watcher, or whatever. We got Tina B, we got Marsha, we got Joan, Kimberly, Dawn, Carolyn, Debbie, Kimberly, Cindy, Becky, and Shauna are here. My sheriff isn't in town tonight. My sheriff isn't in town. So, that's cool. Um, I hope she's all good. I hope everybody's doing well. A lot of people were uh, getting sick lately, so I hope everybody's feeling better. Joan, I hope you're feeling... Nikki's here! What's up, Nikki? Um, you weren't feeling well this past week. A lot of people... Uh, make sure you guys are taking time, you know, washing your hands, uh, you know, sidestepping those close talkers. <laughs> You know those people that like to like talk to you and they're like right here? I don't know, understand those people whatsoever, but I'm always like sidestepping them to try to kind of get a little bit of 
space. <laughs> so make sure you're uh, sidestepping those close talkers so you don't turn. <laughs> right? Do what you got to do to stay healthy and ha uh, this holiday season, right? Because tis the season. Tis the season to get sicky sick. I don't know if anybody else knows somebody in their life that is a close talker, but I feel terrible. Nicest person in the world. Can't have a conversation with them, though. All right. So, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. Right, I'm going to get all that blue out of them, or most of it. How's everybody doing? Uh, stars is enabled. They're a penny each. Uh, stars are on my videos, too, like my, my little reels and clips that I make um, and stuff. So if you forget, they're on there, too. Okay. Um, and uh, I don't know. It popped up a... Um, my mom was telling me I have ads that show up now, so just to let you guys know, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't set any of that up. Like, I literally register my information to be able to monetize um, my videos. And trust me, it's it, they make it sound like you're, yeah, no, you're not. But anyway, um... So whatever pops up or shows up or when it does or how it does, I don't have any control. Um, I tried to get this on my computer, but I can't. You need help. All right, Nikki, we'll try. We could try to help you. Tina B is usually good at that stuff. Thank you, Joan, for the 50 cents. You're a sweetheart. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm not in charge of any of the uh, advertisement that goes on. I have no idea what any... I don't even see it. My mom was telling me that it pops on during some of my reels and clips and stuff. I have no idea. Because I don't even see it on my end. Um, so... Like, Joan, you asked me that question a while back. And, um... You asked me that question a while back. And I, I still have... I, I hit, like, 20 buttons and I couldn't get it. You keep getting Eric's, Eric, Eric's V ads. What's, what's an Eric? What's, what's that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Eric's V. Thank you, Joan. Thank you so much for the 50 cent. You're a rock star. Yep. So Tina B, you're on with Nikki. All right. Cool beans. Um, I don't need, I don't even know how to pronounce whatever that brand is. All right. So here we go. Hey Nikki, um, if you're just watching right now, uh, my this is all going to be on YouTube eventually. So if you want to be able to paint this later, um, once it's on YouTube, all you have to do is do YouTube on your computer if you want to. I'm just, I don't know, trying to help. Okay, so we're going to find our center, right? Oh. Let's find our center. <sighs> you guys are actually not center. All right, so let's see. All right, so there's my center. I'm going to do a little mark. Okay, right? That's where my star is going to be. Okay, and then I want equal distance from the star for my snowmen's. Right, so I'm going to cut this in half. Right, and I'm going to put a mark here, snowman one, and I'm going to cut this in half, I'm going to put a mark here, snowman two. Right, there we go. That's how you measure that out. Right? Yeah, yeah, no worries, doll, no worries. Okay, so, snowmen around. Now, are, are snowmen perfect circles? Absolutely not. Snowmen are lumpy and bumpy and uh you know we roll them out of snow so um you don't have to worry about them being perfect so parentheses parentheses guys parentheses parentheses to make your snowman right i'm gonna do uh both sides at the same time 
right? Why are we doing both sides at the same time? Because that makes it to where we're going to get it more even looking. If you do one snowman in its entirety, and then you go to do the other snowman, guaranteed it's not going to match. It will not match. It's the same concept like as if we did the eyeballs. I'm just grabbing uh, white paint. All right. And uh, I'm just grabbing white paint. And I'm putting in where my, am I worrying about these circles right now? Not really, no. Because right now I'm just trying to set it up to where it's going to be even on both sides. Yep, I'm coming in from behind just. Because if I painted this from the side, <laughs> there's no way, no way in East Jabib land that this would have been uh, centered. No way. Absolutely not. And I'm making them smaller than what they're actually going to be. Because you guys know, the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. Right? The more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get. So, and I'm actually really just concerning myself with this, right? Is this matching up even Steven from where the star is, right? And you got to make sure you're leaving room for your star, okay? Picture a star here. Leave room for that. <laughs> Aw, you guys are sweet. It's a medication? Yeah, I have no idea. No clue what that is at all. Are you going to uh, grow a third arm if you take it? I'm in your head. I'm in your head. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so we're going to turn around and we're going to just dab these circles in so they're nice and smooth, right? No goopy gobbies. Okay, now we're going to draw a star. Now, I'm going to tell you flat out, stars are my nemesis. <laughs> it's, and, and I draw stars like, uh, like a kindergartner, so it's totally cool if you do that too. All right, I marked my center, so now I'm going to do a triangle, right? I got a nice thin edge on my brush. Make sure you're paying attention to your brush. So I'm going to do the triangle, right? Try to get that even on both. I'm telling you, stars are my nemesis, so we're going to try our best here. All right, so, and then I want to go this way. Right? And then I'm going to go this way. And and this is not even at all, right? Because you want all your points to kind of be the same size. So as I fill it, I'm going to fix it. Right? We're going to fill and fix. You guys know that. <laughs> Find your center. Oh, yep, actually, definitely. <laughs> No goopy gobs. Find your center. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. You guys are cracking me up. Hey, April, how you doing, sweetheart? Find your center. Oh. Okay. So, I'm going to take uh, Mini Me. Oh, Mini Me flew over here somewhere. That's right. I have to pick up Mini Me first. Oh, and I gotta tell you, Eve is hurting tonight. I, uh, I help. My uncle is in the process of moving, and I was helping him yesterday, and we were picking up heavy things. So now I'm taking, now that I got my general shape in, and I know it's in the middle, I'm taking Mini Me. I'm holding it like a pencil. Um,. Oh, nice. And, uh, you know, my it's dry. I can put my hand down on it. And I'm just taking it like a pencil. And I'm going to draw this in. 
and I'm going to make it to where all my points are even and all that jazz, right? So you guys know, get your shapes in. They don't have to be perfect. And as you fill them in, as you fill them in, you can fill and fix, right? You can fill and fix. Once you have the general idea of where it's going and where it's going to be and how big it's going to be, you can do these little adjustments as you're painting, okay? As you're painting, you can do the little adjustments, right? Because the one, the one thing with acrylics, it's layers, 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 but then the other thing with acrylics is it's layers, 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 and you get the opportunity, you get the opportunity to make minor adjustments as needed as you're doing the layers, right? So just keep that in mind. And as you're fixing, this line and this line need to match up. <laughs> so right? So this is the point where my uh, my OCD starts running rampant and um, <laughs> I play with the star for about a half hour straight. That's what ha that's what happens now. <laughs> but for the sake of keeping this a timely video, uh, we're gonna we're I'm, Eve's gonna have to just let it let it go. I'm gonna have to let it go <laughs> and say. Good enough. Good enough. All right. I know. I just said leave it alone, and I'm playing with it again. Shh. Shh. Don't do what I do. Just listen to what I say. <laughs> Anybody else hear that as a kid from your parents? Right? Because they'll tell you to do something, and then they're doing, like, exactly what they told you not to do. There we go. Uh, and I got a little smudge right here, so we're just going to... There we go. All right. Leave it alone. The more you play with it, the bigger it gets. Right? You got it, Nikki? Awesome. I'm so glad you got it figured out. That's the truth. It is the truth. Okay. So... We're going to take that as it's going to be. And, right? And then, that's what Nifty's for, right, guys? Nifty is so you can put in those nice, sharp points. Sharp. The sharp points. Right? We use Nifty for that. We don't drive ourselves nuts and try to do it with a brush that isn't made to make a point. Okay? We switch to the smaller brush. I know that's a big deal, right? Because it's that one's in the that one's in the uh, uh, you know over there, and you have the other one in your hand, and we want to try to make the one that's in our hand do the job. But uh, honestly, you got to take that one little piece of effort and pick up the other brush instead. Pick up the other brush instead, right? That's what you got to do. All right. So, now, I'm going to take Mini-Me, and I'm going to uh, tighten up my snowman here, right? We're going to tighten up my lines, okay? And uh, when I do graphic-style paintings, my edges are sharp. Like, I make them very sharp. And also, what you want to do um, is that... When you do your background, save some of your background color because you could turn around and you could take your background co color and you and um, use that to tighten anything up also. So as you're trying to get nice clean edging, you can also take your background color to 
make your edges sharp as well. And you want a little bit of paint on your brush when you do this because if you do this and you have a lot of paint on your brush, you're going to wind up with a ridge. And um, by a ridge, see that ridge of paint right there? Right here on the edge? You see that? Okay, that's because I had too much paint on my brush. If you get those, you very simply take your finger, right, and you swipe it into the object. And that'll get rid of that ridge for you. Okay, so that is, if you get those ridges on the edges, that's how you get rid of them. You wanted to paint tonight, but your art room is packed. Painters are coming Monday to... Ah! Oh, so we had to put all the stuff somewhere, huh, April? <laughs> and it all landed in the art room. So true. So true. I am in the process of um, doing all of my inventory of my paintings, my 300 paintings. <laughs> and uh, I'm you know, gutting out the art room and giving myself some space and I'm like, I am like why, like I pick things up and I'm like, why is this in here? Like, why why is this in here? This doesn't even, that shouldn't even be in here. That shouldn't even be here. Oops, sorry guys, I kicked you. Stuff just seems to land in our art space. We actually have to make a conscious effort to keep that space clean because especially when you're a busy person, um, to sit down and paint and give yourself that extra time seems like an effort in itself. And um, And if you start piling stuff on top of it, now you just made it more of an effort, right? You can't just sit down and create. Now you have to clean off the uh, the bag that landed on your space. You have to clean off the papers that landed on your space. You have to clean, you know what I mean? So you want to actually try to wherever your creative space is, try to make a mental note not to pile stuff. Yep, exactly, April. Try to make a mental note not to clutter your creative space because instead of sitting down and just and just starting to paint and starting to create, now you now you created a project and then you get distracted by whatever is on the um, you know in that space and then you're putzing with that. And then all of a sudden, you're reorganizing your um, closet. You don't even know how you got to the closet. <laughs> and your time to create was eaten up because you got distracted. So try to make a mental note. It's kind of like when you have that exercise equipment and then it turns into the coat hanger. Right? Once you hang that one article of clothing on that exercise equipment, guess what? You're never exercising again. Nifty does make good uh, tiny dots in the eyes. My snowman looks like it's going to fall over. They're leaning. They're leaners. I got leaners. That's right. They'll hold on to the star and keep each other up. <laughs> we got leaners. All right. Now let's roll tap that big boy. And we're going to fill in the, um, the centers. <laughs> I've been snooping in your... I'm creeping on you. I'm creeping on you, April. All right, now I'm going to just, uh, now that my edges are crisp, I could take uh, my larger brush and put in my next layer. Now, uh, you always, when, whenever you're filling this in, right, whenever you're filling the object in, 
make sure you're following the um, the shape of the object okay um, this is a few reasons why number one your brush strokes are going to match up right see I'm doing the curve of this number two um, you're kind of training your brain and your hands <coughs> excuse me that to when you get to um, putting other things onto your object you already have those curves in your mind right remember when we did the pumpkins right I told you to fill everything in following those curves and then when it was time to put the um, the ridges in the pumpkin you already had your mind and hand trained to be able to just swoop swoop because you were already doing those curves the entire time so whenever you fill in an object just make sure you're following that curve or following the shape of that object in my throat. A uh, tickling. Something's tickling. Alright. We're going to let this dry. And we're going to turn around and we're going to do snow. I'm going to show you how to do the um, curly cue. The wispy do. The little swirl in the snow. Okay? So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, very simply, I'm going to take, um, you can take whatever brush you like to do dots. I'm going to take Mini Me just so you guys can see what I'm doing and my dots are bigger. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let me grab some more white paint. So, whenever you do a curly cue or a wispy do in your snow, April, I had to, uh, I had to switch to, uh, tea. I'm a teetotaler now. I only have one cup of coffee a day. Go Eve, right? Um, because my IBS really won't allow me to drink coffee anymore. So, all right. So I'm going to follow the star up, right? My centers. Okay. And I'm going to put my, uh, dot here, right? Mark my center. And then I'm going to put dots making a teardrop. Okay? And then I'm going to follow this line of dots, right? Like you're connecting the dots. And I'm going to follow that out. I'm going to bring it up. Okay, and then I'm going to follow this line of dots. Whoop. Bring that out. Okay, I don't know what that is. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. I, uh, yep, I know, it's, it's, miracles do happen, um, so, yep, I'm, I'm a teetotaler now, I have, uh, I have green tea in my teacup, I know my teacup's funky, but I like it that way, yep, so, there's the, there's the tag to prove it, <laughs> yes, so, the coffee addict uh, had to switch gears because um, the coffee just doesn't sit well anymore, unfortunately. And I was drinking copious amounts of coffee, which you guys already know. Um, I was drinking like five to six cups of coffee a day. Probably a little too much. It's a shooting star. We can go with that. We can go with that. Okay, now that I have that in for myself, now I'm going to turn around and we're just going to fill it in, right? 
random. Don't be making pattern. Don't turn, you know, you're filling it around it, but don't line them all up to perfectly. Don't do any of that. Follow, right? Get your eye to follow these pieces outwards. And randomly, Tina, you're just going to keep making dots. Right? And then you're going to do the same thing. Following this around, right? Mentally picture it, curving her out. And you stay tight. You make all of your dots tight. And follow those initial ones you put in. Okay? Hey, Shauna. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> I'm peeking in your windows, too. I know how you like to make patterns and have everything... All, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm peeking in your windows too, dear darling. I'm peeking in April's windows for the stuff that she piles on her creative space. And I'm peeking in your windows because you like to make patterns. And snowflakes fall randomly. So we are going to put these in all nice and tight and close. Okay, all tight and close, just bopping. I'm just bopping them along. We're just bopping them in. That's all we're doing. Okay, and make sure you stay in those guidelines that you made for yourself. Okay, make sure you're staying nice and tight and close in those guidelines. Okay, so if you're starting to lose sight of your shape, that's because you're going... Um, you're not staying tight enough into um, <laughs> oh, April, you calling me out? What's in those corn nuts you're munching on, huh? <laughs> you calling me out, darling? <laughs> Alright, so make sure you're staying nice and tight and close in these guidelines you made yourself. Notice that you can still see the shape. Alright, you can still see the shape. Okay, with this white paint on my brush, I'm going to do my next layer on my star. Hey guys, my paint's drying. Woohoo! Um, that's because I don't have any steamer, um, steamer heat going on right now. That's probably why I got a tickle in my throat. Because it's dry up in here. <laughs> it's dry up in here. Alright, so I got this white paint on my brush, so we're going to fill this in. Alrighty, there we go. Now, um, I want you guys to get very creative with this. I want you to turn around and make these snowmen your own. I want you to, um, you know, they have uh, hats and scarves on. The, um, I chose the stocking hat and I chose the beanie. You guys can choose whatever kind of hat you want on your snowmen. Alright, so get creative with it. Um... Oh, a wet palette thing? Um, I usually paint on your computer desk, but it's covered in, in papers and you have easels. <laughs> Keep your creative space clear of cut clutter. <laughs> the room might be a holy mess, but I create in this spot in my living room. So this is com just art. And if hubby or kids come home and they plunk something down in your space, throw it out. <laughs> I was in a relationship one time and I turned, yeah, I know, <laughs> imagine that. And I turned around and he would plunk stuff everywhere. I literally had a, uh, a like a oversized closet room kind of thing and I would just take all the stuff and just throw it in that room. Like I wouldn't even... I would literally open the door and chuck it in there. And anytime time walked around and he's like, have you seen my, I would point to the door. <laughs> 
So, I'm rowing my boat. <laughs> You know, uh, April, you have one of those on your Christmas list, did you? I'm so happy you've got art supplies on your Christmas list. That's awesome. Um, so, anyway, it's up to you. You know, you make your own creative ideas on how to do your hats. I made uh, a little beanie, right? Mm -hmm. And I did the uh, stocking hat. So... We're going to put those in right now on my tipping over snowmen. <laughs> Rowing the boat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Shauna. Yeah. Well, you know, life happens. That's okay. But it's time, guys. It's time, because now you have all the Christmas clutter going on, right? So now you're putting clutter on top of clutter. Keep your creative space free of clutter. Tina, April, Shauna, all of you. I know you all do it, because I know. <laughs> I'm peeking in your blinds. All right, anyway, the one hat, we're going to swoop. Swoop. Just like that, right? And I'm gonna put some sides on it, okay? And then the beanie part, whenever you put a hat on an object, the beanie part, um, the make sure the hat is the shape, the size of the head, all right? Um, a lot of people make their hats either too small or um, too big. And you want to make sure that the hat is the size of the head. Okay, so we got a beanie hat on the one. And then we're going to have the stocking hat on the other. Calling you out. Oh, yeah, Shauna. Prayers and blessings, sweetheart, for your uh, papa, okay? I hope he's recovering. Um, all right. Now we're going to swoop, right? Swoop. Start on the side of the head. Swoop it on down, right? Make him look like a Mad Max character beyond Thunderdome. Okay. Now we're going to come over here. Start over here. And join our swoop. Okay. Right. A little puffy on the end. A little puff puff. I'm just swirling my brush. That's all I did. Give it a little puff puff. Santa stopped coming to my house a long time ago. <laughs> He's like this chick. <laughs> I just bypassed my house. <laughs> so, there you go. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have scarves, right? So, I'm going to square off these corners here. Right, give your little snowman a turtleneck. A little turtleneck going on over here. Right, just squaring off the little sides. And uh swoop, swoop, swoopy doo, right? Swoopy doo, swoopy doo, doo 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 doo. -doo, -doo. And Oh, I'm just, yeah. Okay, Nikki. Nikki needs a shovel now. <laughs> swoopy doo. We're swoopy doing. And swoopy doo, right? So you guys get creative on however you want to paint your hats, what colors you want to paint them, 
what uh, designs you want to put on them, um, all of that uh, good stuff. Okay, um, so my always, 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 uh, <laughs> nah -uh. always, always, always look at my art as a suggestion. It's a suggestion, an example. It is not the dictate. All right, always. Whenever I show you guys anything, I want you to follow the how, but I don't want you to, I don't, I want you to, you know, you know, I want you to create on your own. You guys know. All right. So, um, the snowflakes, we're going to, uh, another coat on like 6,000 coats, guys, 6,000 coats of white on your objects. Okay, 6,000 coats of white on your snowman and your star. All right, just keep popping the layers on there so they're bright, 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 bright. All right. Gryffindor colors. There you go, April. All right. Now, the rest of the snowflakes in the sky, you're going to space them apart. Right? You're going to space them apart, randomly putting them in, right? Go all the way to the edges of your canvas, okay? But you want to keep very large spaces in between them all. So this way, you don't lose the swirl, right? You won't lose the swirl, okay? So, very large spaces in between them all. Take your snowflake right to the edge of your canvas, right? Yeah, Tina B, you, you definitely get creative. I love it. I love when you guys get creative. All of you do. All every single one of you in here do. And I and I absolutely love it. Uh Joan and all you guys, you guys get creative and um make things your own. And I absolutely that's why I want you to post your work. Uh number one, to encourage each other. Everyone's at a different level. If you don't post your work, um or at the level you're at right because you've been painting less years than me okay a ton of less years than me so i do not expect you to whip out something that looks like mine if you do i'm gonna be a little aggravated <laughs> i feel like i quit <laughs> so um post your work so you can encourage other people that are brand new in painting too, okay? So um, that person that has that triangle Christmas tree and the, you know, the, um, you're just starting out. As long as you're putting paint to canvas, it is all progress and practice. Keep that in mind. Make sure it's progress and practice. That's what makes you a great artist, okay? Being creative feeding those creative juices, right? We lose how to be creative because we're, we're too inundated with instantaneous information, all right? We don't have to think about what a uh, seagull looks like because all I need to do is seagull and I have the picture already provided for me, you know what I mean? So the more you exercise those creative juices and the more you kind of just let it flow and, and, and free, you know, just get it all out, the more and more, it's like any muscle, right? The more you exercise it and practice and, um, and uh, all of those things, progress and practice, the better you're going to get. 6,000%, the better you're going to get. That's it. Um, message me, Shauna. Uh, guys, if you have any ideas for me, if you have any ideas for me or anything you'd like to, um, uh, like, um, Miss, uh, Dawn, Miss Dawn sent me, I, 
I can't believe you're, I'm spacing on your name right now, darling. Um, she, she sent me the idea of a gingerbread man, um, which is great. I haven't done one yet, so I thought that was amazing. So um, if you guys ever have any ideas of something you'd like to see me paint, um, send them to me. Message them um, through Facebook to me. Yeah, right? Because you're, you're clicking and bopping. Your, your creative juices are like, yeah, yeah. Um, that's why I like to go to, I used to go to them all the time. I used to go to uh, poetry open mic nights. And I love it because the imagery that they were, um, the imagery they were creating with their words, I could create in my head. Speaking of all you amazing people, we got Tina B, Marsha, Joan, Kimberly, Dawn, Carolyn, Debbie, Kimberly, Cindy, Becky, Shauna, Nikki, and April with us. Oh, yeah. 6,000%. Uh, you want to train? <laughs> Do you guys understand how tricky trains are? We did a train in fall. Does anybody remember trying to paint the train? <coughs> all right. We need gold, okay? So I'm gonna swirl. You know, you guys already know. You start off with the uh, peach. So I'm going to turn around and grab my whites, and I'm gonna grab my yellow, and I'm gonna grab my red, and I'm gonna make a peachy peach. And we're gonna color the first layer of the star in. <laughs> Becky is here. Hi, Becky. I did call your name, darling. I called your name. You're uh, you're on the list here. You're uh, you're fourth from the bottom. Got you, darling. Uh, and um, so we're gonna start off with the peachy peach. There's the peachy peach. Okay, we're going to do our, uh, now whenever you're making your objects, you do it with white and your color, and then your color, right? White and your color, and then your color. Okay, so if you want a red hat, you're going to make it pink first. You're going to make it pink first, okay? So keep that in mind. We're going to fill this in. Say you want a red scarf. We'll fill that in. I'm going to put this piece like it's coming out from behind them. It's not in the original, but I kind of like that idea. Right, let's do uh, blue. We'll do uh, blue on this part. Okay. Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, Carol, how you doing, sweetheart? Um, so let's do a uh, green on the stocking cap. Right? Everything is with white first. Everything is with white first. Okay? So you add white to your colors first. White, 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 white. Wait your colors first. Alright. Uh, we're going to take Nifty and we're going to put our noses on. Everybody behave. <laughs> I 
I noticed one thing from doing snowmen for three seasons now with you guys, that every time I do the noses, you all get out of control. <laughs> and that's why Santa isn't coming to your house. Okay. So, center of the face, pointing down. Triangle with a rounded edge. Me? I, I behave all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Center of the face. Pointing down. I'm always behaving. Okay. That guy's got an extra long one. An extra long nose. <laughs> All right. Take Minnie Me. I'm going to color in the other uh, scarf. Right, I'm mixing blue and red and some white and I'm going to get a purple, blue, red, and white. Hey, Jen, how you doing? A, uh, a winter galaxy night with trees. So, um, you're saying a landscape of, uh, like a wooded area and then have the stars all glistening? And have the trees be all snowy and stuff? Thank you so much, Marsha, for the stars. You're amazing. Carol's here. I just saw a few new names pop up. Jen. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll take that as a definitive. Yes. Oh, yes, it's Hanukkah. Thanks for the uh, reminder, April. Happy Hanukkah to all my um to all my lovely fam that celebrates Hanukkah and or any other holidays you celebrate cuz this isn't isn't like Kwanzaa a holiday too. I, that sounded really, really dumb. I know Kwan's is a holiday. <laughs> I meant, isn't that happening now, too? <laughs> I'm like, is Kwan's a holiday? Yeah, it's a holiday, Eve. <laughs> I don't know what comes out of this mouth. I have no idea. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take Nifty, and I'm going to take that peach, and we're going to put the first layer on our noses. So, like I said, guys, this painting is really, really easy. It's an easier painting to do, and it's super duper cute. Super duper cute. And not difficult. It's mostly putting in your shapes and then coloring. This is one, of, it's like the Santa, right? It, those are, um, so... Extra long nose on that one. Extra long. Oh, good night, Cindy. Oh, my goodness, Cindy. Prayers and blessings, darling. Uh, I hope you have speedy recovery. You have an amazing evening. Hearts and hands for Cindy, guys. Hearts and hands for Cindy. Cindy. Speedy recovery, sweetheart. All right. Now, what we're going to do is um, under the star, we want white, 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 because we're going to put the glow. We're going to put the glow of the star on onto the snow. All right, so we want it white, white, white under this under the uh, star. So I'm gonna take big boy and swirl tap dab. And I'm gonna grab uh, clean white paint. And 
and snowman the snowman. Snowman to snowman. Okay. If anybody wants to purchase the original, it um it is falling into the category of the off the easel category. So you would get fifty dollars off. So if you would like to actually own the original, see what I was saying about crisp. See how crisp that line is? And that's because, uh, number one, layers. But number two is if you, like, right here, like, right in here and stuff, I went in with the black of the background and sharpened all this up. Okay? So you go in with your background and you, like, because these lines on my hat obviously overextended the hat when I first painted them in. Then I went in with my background color and sharpened them all up so they fit the hat. See this ridge right here? See how you could see where this was like up higher? But then with the background color, I, um, I filled it in to make it crisp. Okay, guys? So um, that's what I was telling you before about saving your background colors so you can go in and sharpen all your lines up. Okay, so now we're into the fun stuff, right? We're going to take um, Mini Me, and we're going to swirl tap dab them, and we're going to grab our red and yellow now that we have our white, 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 our peach layer, right? Now it's time for the oranges and golds, so to make the gold... Make the gold, right? A little bit of red. Whole lot of yellow. Whole lot of yellow. No white, just the two colors, right? Little bit of red, whole lot of yellow. So, you'll get orange at first. So, you can take some of that orange. You're going to need it for your nose. Okay, so... We could put some of that orange to the side and grab a whole more yellow. So the more yellow you add, the more gold it's going to become. Thanks, Carol. Jen, um, I don't, I uh, thank you for the interest. Message me. I know it's an extra step, but, um, I don't spit numbers out. I don't know. It's an Eve thing. A lot of artists do that. They just spit out numbers for the price of their art, but, um, I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like an auctioneer. <laughs> hey, you could get this and it's under, you know, like I'm a car salesman or something. <laughs> so, um. We could talk about the details, okay, sweetheart? Thank you so much for being interested. I appreciate that. Thanks, Carol. I threw um I threw a box in it last night. All right, so now we're gonna go in with our gold layer. Yeah, I you know maybe someday I'll actually have to start doing that, just spitting numbers out because um I uh. There's so many other artists that do it, and they get sales, and, um, but I don't know. I just think it's very, I don't know, like, I, I don't know. I feel like a car salesman when I do that. Okay, then you have that pretty, pretty gold color. Plus, plus, there's the added advantage that 
if you're one of my OGs and if you've been very supportive of me, um, you're going to get a better price. <laughs> or, you know, some people need to make payments. So we figure out those details, you know, add, you know, so yeah, it's just better to make that personal connection. In my mind, I think it's better. Okay, so I'm going to grab that orange with Nifty, and I'm going to put in the um, orange. Tina B. bought right off the canvas. Tina B., like, you actually, you're the one that started the off the canvas thing because I was doing that how to make, um, what was it, a snowy scene, right? How to make a snowy scene, and I... Uh, did the winter landscape and and then uh, with you getting it off the canvas we did um, we added the the sled and I had the cabin and the snow blowing off the mountain it was a really cool piece okay so the next thing you need to do is we're gonna take uh, mini me Right, we're gonna grab that gold and then you're gonna arch your brush. You're gonna start at the side because that's where it's gonna be the brightest, right? So I'm gonna start at the side. Okay, and then you're gonna keep dabbing, following that curve, follow that curve. Okay, you're going to keep dabbing it inward, making your curves smaller and smaller. Right? And then I'm going to go with the white. Come in from the other side. And then zigzag zoom. Zigzag zoom and soften all of that out. And that's how you get the glow on the snowman. Right? Okay, so let me show you close up as a close up. Yes, I think it was ice and snow. It was something like that. So, I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush. Going in with my shader. I'm going to grab uh, the gold color I made. I'm going to start on the edge. Because that's where it's going to be the brightest. Right? Get any of those ridges, just push them in. And then, I'm going to follow that curve, working this into the snowman smaller and smaller as I get towards the center. And then, swirl tap to add my brush. Grab my white. Come in from the other side. And then, zigzag zoom. More white and you just zigzag zoom and soften it all out Well, it is, it, it's, um, it's a little more wet because I just swirl tap dabbed it. So, um, yeah, having your brush be, um, with the, the water in it is better because then that's going to make the color softer also. So, um, 
Having a little more moisture in your brush would make it easier because then it's going to flow better. Scroll tap dab my brush, come in with the uh, white, and zigzag zoom. And following that curve. you have more uh, water on your brush it definitely is easier to work with like like we do when we do the um, the gold washes right that I have you guys do with the yellow kind of the same thing so um, grab my white Following that curve, notice that everything's following the curve, and where the two meet, zigzag zone. So, very little paint, right? Water on your brush, following the curve, soften, and then. You guys can build this. It's buildable. So I'm going to grab um, the darker gold now, right? And I'll put the darker gold in. I'm going to put the darker gold in. So it's buildable. And this is very little paint. If you notice, I'm dabbing. Everything's dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And you do this while everything is still uh, wet. So this way as you're dabbing, it's going to soften. And you can build this up as much as you want. make it as gold as you want it. Okay, more layers on the star. All right, and then I took a uh, tiny. I took tiny, so I put another layer on the star so it's nice and wet, and then I'm going to take tiny and white paint, and I'm just going to do flicky doos out in the center of the star. And again, this is buildable too, depending on how bright you want it. So every time I leave the canvas, I'm grabbing more paint. And notice I'm just going in a circular motion, doing flicky doos out from the center. Okay. And then we're going to grab our black. We're going to put our face in, right? Hats, scarves, all that. Layers, 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 layers. And then put your design on, whatever you want your design to be. For the faces, these are three-quarter faces. So where your nose is, 
right? You're gonna put the awkward eyeball in, right? Right on the, uh, right on, living on the edge there, living on the edge. Okay, and then where your nose is, you're going to take your brush and you're going to make a line for yourself so you know the placement of the other eye. Okay, nice smile. Ah, he's so cute. <laughs> Hello, 12 Oaks, how you doing, sweetheart? All right, and then uh, we're going to, again, the awkward eye. See, your nose is here, so you're going to take your brush, right? Make that line so you know where to put the other eye, right? Our smile. Okay, and the arms. Now... Make sure your paint is nice and loose and thin and like pudding, right? Add a little bit of water to your paint. Add a little bit of water so it flows because you're going to be making a line, right? And you don't want it goopy gobby making the line. So we have the arm coming out this way. And holding the star on the back. So no goopy gobbies. When you want a line, you want nice flowing paint so it just whoosh, slides right off of your brush. Okay, and right, we put the arm here, so we're going to line it up for the other arm. Little stick fingers. And the other guy. Okay, coming out from back here somewhere, little elbow action going on. Right, matching up where I put that arm from the other side. He's got really long arms, so he's uh, he's reaching for it. Because <laughs> if I made his arm to where it attached, it would be like way long. So he's reaching for the guy. <laughs> um, if you wind up with him being further away, just put your arms closer to the end of your snowman. All right? So if your snowman's far away and you're going to wind up with this really long arm before you go to paint it, just move the arm so it's more, it's closer to the edge of the snowman. So it won't be um, as long of a reach. All right. So, and let's see. The last thing we got to do is the glow on the snow, guys. And I have next week's to show you. Um, it's not completely done yet. But you'll get the idea. Next, next week's is one of those paintings where... Um, it just does not want to get off my easel. <laughs> I keep working on it and working on it and working on it. And I'm like, I spent way too much time working on this painting. But, um, I don't know. Every once in a while that happens, right? You get a painting and you're like, why is this painting not done yet? <laughs> so, stars is enabled, guys. Don't forget Venmo and PayPal. Okay, uh, like April mentioned before, I'm going to take a damp uh, big boy, I'm going to grab my yellow, I'm going to grab a little bit of that gold color I made, okay, and I'm just going to swipe back and forth. Right, if uh, you make it more like an angle here, it'll add depth. All right, that's not on the original. Um, so if you make it more of an angle towards the snowman, it will add more depth to your painting. Or you can just fill it all in solid. It's up to you. And then that makes it to where it there it's a small hill. Okay? 
And that's it, guys. You guys have everything you need to make Christmas magic. Such cute painting and very simple concepts. And that's what you're going to wind up with. So it's awesome. And don't forget, this layers is your coloring. Okay? Um, nice, uh, crisp edges. And, um, soft, soft, softness with your snow glow. All right, let me show you next week's, and then we're done. Tina B., Marsha, Joan, Kimberly, Dawn, Carolyn, Debbie, Kimberly, Cindy, Becky, Sean, and Nikki, April, Jen, Carol, Jen, message me. Facebook Messenger, button's right on the top. We'll talk uh, details. If you send support of $5 or more, um, message me the address so you can get your nifties for free. Um, thank you guys so much for the stars. Um, thank you to um, Becky who did Dollar Day. Thank you, darling. And I um, was trying to remember. <laughs> and there's another person, but I don't think she's in here. So thank you, uh, the two of you, for doing Dollar Day. I do appreciate that. And Tina, I think you're in that mix somewhere, too. My OGs. My OGs. I know who you are. Um, right? It's super cute. Super cute. Super cute and doable. Okay. Bam. Got that up. And next week's painting. Thank you, Joan, for the stars. Fitty Scent. Fitty Cent Joan is in the house. Oh, yeah. Fitty Cent Joan. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. I love it, Joan. Never stop sending um, Fitty Cents. Right? It's adorable. Yep. And then when you do all your layers and fill in all your colors and fill in your designs, okay? So this is... Um, that, right? If you're here, you'll get here, and all it is is more layers. More layers of color. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's just adding more and more layers of color. Thank you, Joan. Thank you, sweetheart. All right, so my nemesis painting, this painting has turned into my nemesis, but I will have it done because <laughs> it's going to get done. Anyway, uh, this was someone's idea that they hit me with it, and I said, why not? And, uh, da -da 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 -da. you guys ready? So, this is next week's. It's not done yet. Don't look at the Christmas tree. It's not done yet. Okay. So, wah -wah. the beach. You guys wanted Christmas at the beach. So, I'm going to show you how to do, uh, the, the trees and how create the depth and the shadows and everything else. We got the really cute Christmas flops and uh, snowman hat. Santa's in the water. He's taking a dip. And we're going to have uh, an amazing Christmas tree as soon as I get it painted. <laughs> so we got Christmas at the beach, everybody. We got the pretty bows and the trees. So I love where where this is going, I, it's just, you know, it's one of those things. Anyway, um, we're going to have Christmas at the beach. Okay, guys, we have our Trinity birds going on there and all of that. So, lots of fun things. Um, if you remind me on Friday, I'll show you how to do, like, lettering in the sand. Like, if you want to put Happy Holidays or Merry Christmas or... You know, maybe the kids' names. Um, remind me. I'm not going to put it on the original in case somebody wants to purchase it and then customize it. But um, if you remind me on Friday, I'll show you how to do uh, the lettering in the sand. Okay? So you guys can customize your painting any way you want to customize it. Thank you so much for the Joan. For the Joan. <laughs> Thank you so much, stars, for the Joan. <laughs> time for me to go <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for the support um you guys keep the lights on and um i love you y'all wear my heart have fun go create and uh <laughs> thank you carolyn nikki how many paintings have you painted since you started watching me Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, I love y'all. Y'all were my heart. Have fun. Go create. And I'm gonna, uh... I'm trying to end. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, 12 Oaks. Appreciate that, darling. <laughs> yep, I'm sure. I love you guys, too. Um, take time for yourselves. Don't let clutter hit your creative space. That's my TED Talk. Love you.